Good morning, San Diego! That was the main phrase of our dear Cameron Bicandora before she started her great interview in San Diego on a Rock 1053 radio. And for now, we have this interview and we'll show you oh, why we, me, I'll show you this great interview from a Rock 1053. Get a pleasure from it! I'm pretty excited right now. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, uh, this is a big deal. Heck yeah, Broseph. I'm a big fan <laughs> of the show Gotham. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Been watching since day one. Yep. And uh, just last week, we had uh, Ben McKenzie on, oh, so who good. plays Detective Gordon so on the show. Yes. And then when I hear that uh, we have the possibility of having Catwoman <laughs> in the studio, I went, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this is a pretty cool thing. We have Cameron Beacondova. Whoa, props Said for that. that right, huh? Yes. Yeah, yes, what's, up, what's up? <laughs> uh, in studio with us, who plays the young version of who eventually will be Catwoman yes. on Gotham, which airs on Fox on Monday nights. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the, start, the thank show you. here. Yeah, you're, oh, yeah this thank is you for me. really cool. I'm very excited about this because, like I said, I watch the show. I love it. And it's so awesome to see kind of the way they're taking this show, you know, which right. is like all the the origins of all the Batman universe characters, mm -hmm. including all the bad guys, you know. So you're seeing like, oh, that's the Riddler. Oh, that's the Penguin, all that stuff. And you are playing a young Catwoman. Yes. Now, how, how did you get this role? How did you get in there? I auditioned for it like seven times. Did you? Whoa. I did. And... Uh, and I initially thought that the character was named Lucy because that's what it said on the breakdown. Oh. And so, but it, when I was reading it, it was saying, like, must be good at cat movements, uh, very, she's a street thief, orphan. And I was like, this sounds like Catwoman. Yeah. yeah. Who's this Who's Lucy? Lucy? Uh. And so when I found out that I got the role, that's when they were like, yeah, it's Selena Kyle, it's not Lucy. And I was like, oh, oh. Yeah, uh, and I was, uh. was that to, like, protect... You know, I so it doesn't so. leak and all that I stuff. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. But I was in shock because Catwoman's huge. This is a big deal. Yeah. This is a big deal for you because the show is a ginormous success. Oh, yes. And to, to play an iconic character like that, did you go back and look at, like, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer and all the other Catwomans out there? Yeah, I looked at um, mainly the TV show with Adam West. Um, and I looked at some movies, read bunch of comic books yeah were Mainly you familiar the, with with batman and kind of that stuff no not until i had to research really wow yeah. so you so, weren't a comic book girl growing up here in san diego no no, no. that wasn't I was your bag into, i i've always been into dance and stuff like that oh so. i've seen some of your videos you kill it oh, yeah thank if you. people don't know google her check her out on youtube she's an amazing dancer thank you talking so, about hip-hop yeah oh really yeah, Hell yeah. i mean oh. I, I try to do you know, all styles. Like, I try to... Branch diverse. out. Yeah. So, but, yeah, I like hip-hop the best. Nice. Yeah, I watched your routine to Happy. So good. Oh, thank you. That was freestyle. That was all freestyle. Was it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're so a talented what, lady. What thank led you. you from dance to doing this? I kind of just fell into it. Really? Yeah. I, I mean, I always wanted to act, but I didn't know, like, how to get into acting classes and stuff like that. Yeah. And then I just somehow ended up in an acting class yeah so well because you're yeah. a san diego girl so were yeah. you doing that stuff here or were you going up to la to do mm -hmm. acting classes well my dad is in the military so he's stationed in coronado oh shout out what yeah. up shout Ooh. out to all those troops out there yeah, um you know and so we actually moved to hawaii oh wow. and so we lived there for four years and then we moved to la for the dance industry so i was taking doing the acting stuff in L.A. Oh, wow. How so, cool. Yeah, it's really cool. I uh, like it. I would guess so. Yeah. Because yeah. you're on a huge hit TV show. Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. Now, what's interesting about your character is they have you paired with a very young Bruce Wayne. Right. And that's who most of your scenes are with. How how old is the, the actor that plays Bruce? I think he's 13. So he's younger than you. Actually, no. He just turned 14. Okay. Yeah, he's two years younger than me. Yeah. Now... Hmm. Awkward at all? Because, I mean, no. you, you shared what I'm guessing is your first on-screen yeah. kiss with this young gentleman. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't too awkward because it was just, you know, a scene and it's nothing personal. Like, yeah. it's not like, 
Like, yeah, yeah, we're kissing, but it's not us kissing. Yeah. So you're not right. in love now or anything yeah, like that. No. <laughs> no, he's he's my buddy. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Now I know mom's in here. Oh, mom. but I have to ask this <laughs> question. Was it, it, that your first kiss ever? Yeah. Really? really? Wow. Yeah. And it happened oh. in, on film? That's why it was it was kind of embarrassing for me. I can imagine. All my friends were making fun of me. Oh. But, uh, whatever. Hey, listen, you got paid, so. I you got, know. Yeah. yeah, you're so, on a TV show. Sorry, <laughs> sorry <laughs> friends. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. friends. Yeah. You know? Yeah. <laughs> like to see your first kiss. Yeah. And yeah. It didn't happen on Fox. <laughs> yeah, Benjamin McKenzie wasn't watching your kiss go down. That's okay. it. What? Right? What? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's just my dream. Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Jesus this guy. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> the, the show is awesome. Now, thank you. Being a dancer, I'm sure probably helped with some of the stuff they're having you do because you know you are moving. You know, kind of like a cat, I would guess. You know, mm -hmm. and did that? Would that play a part in like the audition that you will have this ability, this dance ability? Yeah, I actually choreographed some dance movements. Yeah. Um, I looked at you know some YouTube videos and I took some moves that I had learned through classes and I just put them together and jumped off a chair and wow. That's bam. crazy. Yeah. And, and look at you now. And now yeah. you're Catwoman. So, uh, you know, I kind of talked to Ben about this a little bit mm -hmm. when we talked to him is that like, where do you see the show going? Do you see it continuing on and you developing more and more into the Catwoman persona definitely i mean i don't know exactly where they're going into next season but spoil it for me Come um, on. Please <laughs> tell me what, what's but that? uh she definitely after what happened with the character reggie um after she pushed him out of the window you definitely see a that change. happened this past week yes oh, no. it aired yeah. so i didn't no spoil thanks no spoiler. Um, yeah i watched it yeah okay. <laughs> yeah it was very dramatic um, oh, wow. yeah. it looked like bruce was gonna push this guy who, who was kind of a bad guy yeah. out the window, but no, because he's actually, a goody two shoe. Right, right. <laughs> Pamela yeah. came in and was like, "Nah, I got this, bro." Yeah, and, yeah. And you shoved him out. Yeah. So... Was that your first time killing on scene? <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Let's ho let's hope. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that would be sorry. Really, really. Um, <laughs> no, but yeah, it definitely shifts her character. You see more emotional side of her, but you also see a more edge to her now. Like a dark dark side yeah. a little bit. And it and it changes Bruce also, um, in a way that you don't really expect because you know, you would think that because she did him a favor that he'd be appreciative, but he's not very He looks at you a little differently now. Right. Yeah. Oh. Can you right. can you still hang out? <laughs> That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. So um yeah, you definitely see a different side of her. Well, what's what's wild about the show is again, if you know like Batman and stuff, how everybody's sort of connected mm -hmm. to Poison Ivy, to the yeah. Riddler, like everybody has something to do with everybody. It's wild. Right. And so what I asked Ben and I'd like to ask you is that, do you see more characters? From the Batman universe coming onto the show, like other villains and stuff like that. Ye Have you heard? I've heard. I there were two characters that were released. Um, I can't remember the something about Clay, Clay, Clay Face. Oh, oh no! Um, I gotta, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna Google it. Um, Google but it. the yeah. producer, I'm the producer, out. the producer <laughs> released it um, like last week or so, and I don't remember honestly. But oh my yeah. lord! See, yeah. this is the most important thing in my life right now. <laughs> so it sounds like with this show, I mean, we're slowly going to be meeting new characters every season. It sounds right. like the material it, awesome. is endless. You, yeah, you could be. even you could there's even a possibility of meeting one each episode, but you won't really know because Oh, they could just so incognito, in. you know? Oh, right? Oh, which which so... is kind of what happened with the Scarecrow character mm -hmm. is that if you don't really know then you probably weren't sure that, wow, that was the Scarecrow right there. Right. Like, that was really a really cool way they did it. So yeah. I'm huge into the show. I don't know if you I couldn't tell. tell. Yeah, I don't know if you could tell. But uh, how, how has life changed for you since you got the show? Because I can imagine it's pretty different. No, it actually no? hasn't changed much. The only difference is people are in, people are noticing me a little more. Yeah. Like, I'll just walk around New York City, and I'll be getting something at CVS, and they're like, oh, you're Catwoman. Yeah. And, you know, that's is that the only weird? difference. No, it's actually really you're, cool. You're okay with it. Yeah, because, you know, as long as I don't have a meatball in my mouth, I'm yeah. cool with it. Well, why would you have a meatball in your mouth? <laughs> it's be, I like CBS. meatballs. You do? Okay. okay. I like fair. meatballs. Who doesn't? You know? Well, Especially in New York. Italian? It's CBS? Yeah, why would you have a meatball in your mouth? Yeah. Well, well, that was, yeah. 
I meant like. Oh, I got it. Diff- overall. Yeah, overall. overall. Yeah, yeah. But no, it's nice because you can it you, by them noticing you. You know that they appreciate your work and they're watching it, and yeah. that's what matters. So. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you're a very recognizable young lady. Like your eyes oh, are beautiful. are piercing and really yeah. cool, and and the hair is kind of stands out. I get the hair a lot. Yeah, yeah. They're, a lot of times they don't really notice my face, and then once they pass me and they look at the back of they my do the head, double take. Yeah. they're like, "No, that's Catwoman." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that happens a lot. It's oh, I was eating sushi one time, and these two, not meatballs. Not me, but okay. oh, that's, that's, and, and that's these, weird for you. <laughs> and these two guys, um, they they passed the restaurant, but then because I was sitting by the window, uh-huh. and they they were kind of like, wait a second. So he took out a piece of paper and a highlighter out of his book bag, and he wrote, "Are you Catwoman?" <laughs> and, and it was great because he was. Uh, yeah, it was like great. like check this box. Yes, <laughs> if you're a Catwoman. <laughs> right. No, if you're not. Yeah, like, what a weird funny. way to ask. Yeah. No, but he didn't want to bother me because I was eating with my grandma and oh, mom. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. Yeah, that's actually a nice way to go about it. Yeah, so he was pretty cool. Well, you're. I think you need to get used to this because <laughs> oh, it's a big hit show. Gotham. It airs on Monday nights on Fox. That's and the where last I am. Three episodes. Next, the next three Mondays? Yeah. Whew. Oh, dang. Oh. Get ready, give, give me some. What, what am I looking for? Yeah, what what so do we got? You got to tune in so you can see all no, the Oh, you're not going to give me anything? Oh. No. No. Oh. no. Damn, I tried, people. I tried. Oh. Well, congratulations Thank on all the success. And it's cool, you know, I'm in San Diego and... And now you're on this hit huge show. That's that's really cool. Thank you, thank you. You, you got it. Well, there you go. Uh, you guys, you got to uh, know when teams celebrate their championships. You know that they always go to the White House and do that oh, yeah. whole celebration thing when they win their world championship. Meet the president. Yeah. yeah. What happens if one of the guys that you won the championship with actually then goes and signs with a rival team? Does he get to go oh. to the White House oh, no. with you? Uh-huh. Yeah, we're going to talk about that situation next to Sports Dirt. Bo Jackson tells people Eddie knows. This is Sports Dirt with the Oracle. So the woman who accused former Florida State quarterback Jameis Winston, who is about to be the number one pick in the NFL draft, the woman that accused her uh, him of raping her back in December of 2012 has now filed a civil lawsuit against him. Now, the huh. criminal, the state of Florida, chose not to charge Winston when they investigated the case and found there wasn't enough evidence to charge him. So she's now uh, filed a civil lawsuit against him. Now, I wanted to ask you girls about this because... Listen, I'm a man, and I have no idea what this would be like. But to me, if somebody, you know, raped you, do you want that guy's money? Like, that seems so dirty to me that you wouldn't want that kind of, you wouldn't want his money. But I, I could be wrong. How would you guys look at that if if this were uh, you? Like, Ashley, what, what, would you file a civil suit against him and try to get his money out of it? How much money? Uh, they're, they haven't really said, but I think uh, the, the damages are somewhere around like fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, you'd want you'd want just to get at him in any sort of way. I mean, you wouldn't look at that money like kind of as gross. I would want him to die, and then try to make that happen first and foremost. <laughs> and then I would I would try to get anything I possibly could out of him to make uh, it fair and to make his life hell and to. F- he owes me fifteen thousand dollars. Yep. Before uh, he m- dies, I'll get the money from. Him. Okay. That's. Really... But then I'm gonna make sure he dies. Okay. Allegedly. Wow, okay. Wow, okay. Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly um. But but yeah. I mean, I'm. If, if listen. You just want to hurt him in any way possible. If that's gonna be her closure, if that's gonna be, you know what I mean? Like if that. Well, but here's the deal, though, is that sh- this could not even be real. You know, it is very interesting to me. Obviously, there weren't enough evidence to charge the guy. And so it was thrown out of a criminal court. And so this could just be a money grab by this woman. And I find it very that's interesting. Case, that's gross. Well, it's, it's, it's disgusting. And I find it very interesting that this woman is filing this case a week before he's about to become a multimillionaire. A week before the draft. 
when like, did, that seems a little odd to me. Yeah. Do you know the timing when of that? they announced there wouldn't be any criminal charges? When was it, Thor? It was about at least six, yeah. seven months ago. Yeah, oh, it was okay. a long time ago. Interesting. And she took this yeah. long to go to the civil courts. Right. Because I would assume... Oh, right before the draft. Yeah, I would assume a person, you know, like if that was me, as soon as I hear the criminal court wouldn't hear it, I would just walk straight over to the civil court and be like, okay, let's take this So up you now. have no problems with, with trying to get money from this guy and... and See, for me, for some reason, it's like dirty money. Hmm. It's like gross. Why would I want that guy's money? Uh, but I'm I'm with Ashley. Like, uh, first of all, I like I said, the criminal route. But if that doesn't work yeah, out, then make yeah. Make sure he dies. I want, oh, wait, no. <laughs> I want this guy Somehow, to, some way. to yeah. pay in whatever fashion, Eddie. And if I... You're just trying to hurt him. Yes. And if I'm like you and I, I feel that money is gross and dirty, then I would donate that money to charity. But, just, but you do also, you know I mean? like $15,000 is going to be nothing for this guy. Right. So that I don't that's know how much I you're hurting him. Have it I don't know. 15 grand. If that's what she needs, if she actually got raped, and that's what she needs for closure, then that, I mean, you know, you can't really say what would be right or wrong for her because you know, unless you've been raped, I, I don't know that you could be like, well, gosh, what for me would make this like? Yeah, that's why. That's why closure. I asked you guys because you. I don't know. You, I haven't not, been raped. Not that you've been raped, but you're women and I didn't know if you would look at it in a different way. I just don't know because it depends on like what do you need to get closure so mm-hmm. you can move on from something like that. That's that, a little fishy though the whole thing to the me. Well, yeah but I mean odd. that yeah I mean if it's fake or she's making it up that's that's totally Seems different. like a little bit that's of a money totally grab. Different. That's totally different. That's horrendous. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Darrell Revis he is going to join his former teammates when the Patriots go to the White House to celebrate their Super Bowl victory. This is a bit Awkward, because Revis now plays for their rivals, the Jets. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So is it cool that Darrell gets to go and celebrate his Super Bowl victory? The you know, victory he earned, even though he's not on the team anymore and plays for the rivals? Would you want Darrell Revis there, or does it matter? No, I don't think it matters, because it's not because any of the new members of the Pats that just got signed after the Super Bowl... They, they. I don't think they're going to be there. No, be, they weren't on the team. Yeah, it's just that 2014 Patriots team. So what you do after that, you're still a part of that 2014 Patriots team. So I, I wouldn't have it's an not issue. Weird. With it. It's no, not I, weird. I, if, 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 if my, if there was a guy on, on that signed with the, if I'm a Giants fan. So there was a guy that signed with the Cowboys, who I hate the Cowboys. <laughs> And but he won the Super Bowl on the 2014 Giants. I wouldn't have a problem with him. He, he, he deserves to be there. Yeah, because he was on that team. Yeah, you know what I mean. And he helped them win the championship. 